Let me turn my radio down. So, I'm on my way to work currently. Normally, I try to like pick y'all up and talk before I like start getting ready and everything. But as you guys saw today, I spent my morning with the Lord because after yesterday and just how stressed I was feeling. And out of control, that is one thing I really don't like is to feel out of control, especially when it applies to my life. So I spent the morning with the Lord because he's in control of everything. And I just need him to, you know, put his pinky finger on my situation. And I know everything's going to be all right. So that is what I did. And I think I'm going to make that more of a habit because not even think I need to make that more of a habit because I was thinking to myself as I was doing my reading this morning, like if I can pick up my camera and I can spend the time to like edit these videos and put it together and then upload it and all that stuff, like I can at least, at least give God five minutes 10 minutes of my time. So that is what I did. And I feel so much better. Like I feel just lighter and stress-free. Like sometimes that is all you need to do is just drop a bug in God's ear real quick and everything is all right. So now I'm heading into work. Um, Thomas is home with the boys. And yeah, today is a good day. It's all sun shining and whatnot. Like, it is beautiful. Listened to my gospel music. Took a nice, long, hot shower. Like, today is a good day. I can just feel it in my bones. It's a good day. And then also, it dawned on me that I used to have a, um, a chicken soup for the soul Bible and I cannot find it to save my life like it's sad but that shows you just how much I was actually cracking my Bible open that I was able to misplace it and have no idea where it is <sighs> oh the sun but I remember having it in Georgia and then I don't know if I brought it to Jersey when we left Georgia I can't remember if I did or not and I'm gonna have to recycle a mask that I have in the car because I forgot a new one and so I loved that chicken soup for the soul Bible like the I forget what the translation is but you know the one where they like talk in plain English it, it was one of those so I need to get a new Bible and I liked like all the little stories that were inside of the Bible that related to whatever that chapter was talking about. So I need to find a new Bible like that. So for all my Christians in the group, please give me some Bible recommendations. Go see what Hobby Lobby has to offer. Uh, let's see what parking is over here. barely any but all right oh and y'all I was able I know last vlog it was like real depressing like I depressed myself just watching it but I was able to actually go to work yesterday that did happen after I called out like 15 minutes later Thomas walks through the door 
And he's like, oh, I thought you were going to work. And I was like, I called out because the babysitter never came to get the boys. So I didn't think they were going. So I called. So he was like, oh, no, I just told you to have the kids dressed by 1030 because I was going to come back and let them play outside for a little bit before the babysitter came and got them. So you could have still gone to work. What? <laughs> You're going to come back at 1030 so that you could take them outside. But you just walked in the door and it's after 11. So the logic still didn't make sense, but whatever. Remember, it's a happy day. No need to harp on the past. Just get my blood pressure up. But I ended up being able to go to work. So yay, let me walk into this building, start my shift, and I'll see y'all later. All right, so I'm on my lunch break now, eating my taco salad. I heard a noise over in the corner. I had to check it out. Um, so far so good it's been smooth sailing like there's a lot of people but it hasn't felt like it like it's crazy how just one moment of spending some time with God can change your whole day like I had to get on my tom tom because of everyone in our house. That little boy is a praying somebody. He prays about everything. Like when I say everything, everything. The boy prays. He hung around my mom a lot and she got it ingrained in him. If you ask, God will answer. Like he could be watching a TV show. All you'll hear is, Father, in the name of Jesus, please help this Pokemon to win this battle. Like, the boy prays about everything. One day we were in the car. I, like, hit a pothole a little too hard in the back seat. Father, in the name of Jesus, please help us to not get a flat tire and help us to make it home safely. Like, boy prays about everything. That's crazy. I have to, like, he is the example. I need to get on my Tom Tom. And then I was talking with one of my coworkers, and she was like, you know, asking me what my um, like background was, like job wise or whatever. And then she was telling me like what she used to do and how she used to be um, a pilot, and then she used to do air traffic control. And so she was just telling me like, you know. Don't think of it as like, oh, you went from getting this degree and you should be doing something more substantial than what you are. Think of it as like your foot in the door because right now, even just working in the commissary, I'm stacking up federal retirement time and all that. So I was like, oh, I never thought of it from that standpoint, but she really put it in perspective for me. But she was like, you know, you can do your time here, but then still be looking like on USA jobs and at the job sites and all that stuff because if you can find another job to be like an administrative assistant in an office um, base or something like that she was like that still rolls over into your federal retirement and so it's just like your foot in the door it's not demeaning or beneath you or anything like that she was like it is your foot in the door and you're still getting you a nice little retirement top package that you're building for yourself. And then if I want to go elsewhere and do something else, I can. So, yeah, today has just really been a good day. <laughs> like, I got good advice. Everyone's been pleasant. A couple laughs. Like, it's been great. Okay, guys. So, I'm home. Um... Had dinner. I'm still in my work clothes. <laughs> I'm about to go hop in the shower. And then I'm going to bed. But that is a wrap for day nine of the 12 days of Christmas. We are almost done, guys. I'm so proud and shocked at myself that I've actually been able to keep this up. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you had a wonderful, beautiful, positive 
very good day today. <laughs> but I'm gonna take you there. Bye. <laughs>